Hello! We will be starting here in just a moment. I need to finish getting set up, but I wanted to make sure the stream is doing okay. The stream looks like it's doing okay, so we'll be ready to go here in just a moment. Okay, hello, and welcome back, dear viewers, to our Grand Mother Russia campaign. As you saw the, uh, or as you may have saw, seen, the title of this stream is Russia versus the Hordes, um, which means we're actually going to be moving south and east this time. Uh, Sweden's been a little bit of a pain in the butt, as long as they're allied with Poland, that's going to be a hell of a war, and I don't really feel like dragging them in yet, which we really can't right now, we're not big enough. So, we're going to push uh, south and west after we get done with some rebellions. Um, so we'll unpause the game, and let this get rolling. I've kind of already gone through most of, the most of the menus to try and get us sorted. We are going to get a rebellion here soon, though. We'll have to squash the rebels. There will be no rebellion in Russia. Russia. Ah, the Protestant reform kicked off. In Styria, the hell is Styria? Is, oh, Styria, yeah, that's a little part of the of Austria. Um, Sweden's fabricating claims on us. Uh, we're also integrating to beer right now. That's what we were doing last time. Um, Crimea is allied with people that don't really matter. And you allied with Crimea, I think. So we should probably just check with their armies a little bit real quick. Let's see, Crimea has an army of 11,000. Shaw. And the Nogai. That's the case. Nogai. Where are you, Nogai? Did I pass you up? No, there you are. Have 16,000. So combined against us, it's a little much right now, but not terribly. Um. Come on, just... Buy. Oh, that's going to take forever. Um, that makes so it's cheaper. Okay, split up this army then. To keep the 15k, but otherwise we're going to start suffering attrition due to low supply. So we're going to pull that army back. It's going to be two years until the freaking Swedish Rebellion kicks off. Oh, one year. It's because I had so many troops there that Cut it more? It's hard saying. Um, Basharika is allied with Crimea, so we might be a really quick grab. We're gonna be in a war anyway, so we might as well. Um, let's build a spy working group. Yeah, spy network against the guy. And we're integrating Tavir. Uh, there they are. Scum. Uh, only 11,000. We actually have a leader. Yeah, we should be able to win that hand. Eh, maybe not. Um, pull in an extra 50k. Just storm the crap out of them. Ah, 10 years of siege is going to get their best. Dang it. And. Whooped them. Although losing 5,000 is not really great. Okay, so we've got 42 army right now. We can do 43 max. We're pretty much maxed out. Uh, we're going to be getting 8,000 from Zephyr here soon. As soon as that gets done integrating, which it will get done integrating in 7... Whoa! I have no idea what year. Does it just keep... It's, it doesn't say. Um, it just shows days, so now it's... Seven, we're three quarters of the way there, so that's not bad. Um... We're integrating them. Their opinion doesn't matter. We will fabricate claims on these guys just because we've already got the spy network built. But what's their bulletin? Uh, apparently, I have claim on. 
what's this one? Aland, which I apparently have a claim on. Hey, Poffy, thanks for hosting. Berkland. Yeah, we'll do against you. And that was the only thing we could fabricate because I lost my man points for. So we're gonna pull off of there. And we're gonna fabricate claims on you. Well, build a spy network so we can fabricate claims on you, because you're gonna be super simple to do. <clears throat> and Perm is ours, and they're gonna bring AK back. They're allied with people out farther west than this. Is, that's not gonna be. Okay, so army is rebuilt. We just really have to wait on the moves. Because gosh. Um and aggressive expansion is kinda high right now. Happened. Did I click the wrong thing? Damn it. I kicked the crap out of him. I can't believe that's gonna eat in my manpower. Uh diplomatic insults, why would you be stupid in here? Where are rivals again? Oh, Poland, that's it. Uh, <laughs> okay, we'll do Sweden, but I'm not doing France. Last thing I'm gonna do is wipe this off France right now. Uh, is it there? Why would I write France? Oh gosh, England's getting it again. Uh, we can do a tech. We can do an admin tech, which is actually good. Um, that's pretty consequential, except that we do have max territory. Uh, we'll see because we'll just wait a little bit. We are finishing up some cores now, though. And. Gosh! Liturgical reform. The Eastern Orthodox Church is one holy Catholic and apostolic church. Oh. Established by Jesus Christ our Lord and his apostles. And blah, blah, blah. Support the reform so we get more patriarch authority. And crap. Estonians. Ezel. And that's gonna suck because they're freaking in Ezel, which was called something else before I conquered it. Um, and they're gonna wanna bugger. Should be able to just walk across from that fire, but maybe not. Livonians? What is it with people? Can't they just be happy with my. Gracious and firm, yet merciful rule, Jesus. I'll push it out longer, it's just it's not gonna stop. The stop gap that hopefully, well, because we're pouring. Hey, we integrated the Veer. Hey, awesome. Which means we now have a bigger military and it is way over our commercial. Um, crap, so what do we got? We got 10, 3, 2, 10, 2, 2, 11, 2, 2, and 9, 2, 1. Uh, how about we just scrap you, and we're gonna fix this up right. Now we can actually do three things 15, which means... You actually need to get rid of one of your regiments. And you need another cavalry. Cavalry. Dang it! Um, another men. You've got enough horses, and so that's uh, uh, one for you. And, um, did I pick the right thing? One for you, and one for you. And... Right? One for you. Okay. That should get us where we need to go. Hey! We have completed the mission. Thank you, Uncle Goldfogod. Oh yeah, because they had that last territory. That mission we've had since the beginning of the game. Holy crap. Uh, they want me to convert. It's 
awesome as that would be, Aster, I can't actually do that right now. Uh, incorporate perm. I plan on it. Uh, tolerance of the true faith is if we show. <laughs> Holy crap. Are we gonna claim on all that? We'll try? Yes. Okay, I got the conquest cost of Bailey against all of Crimea and everything they hold. Uh. So. Yeah, they're gonna be weak. I mean, we're gonna have to go against Nokoi and Bashik. Bashkiria. I bet we won't go against Nogai yet. Um, Crimea's got a lot of actual favorable territory. All of which we have a claim on. So that's not a bad way to go, except we need to deal with these. Freaking revolutions first. You wouldn't bring in Bashrik, but you bring in them. Um, it's hard to say who would beat out here first. Well, we're gonna beat them out first. That's pretty much a given. Dang it. Dang it. Nope, we're still building. Uh, yeah, because that's all we can say. How'd they take perm from perm? Do we not have perm? Originally, when we started. Okay, um, keep building. Ah, they recently found it. It's not good. Hello there, baby. In case anybody is wondering, there is Angel Kibby in the chat. That is my lovely wife. She decided to stop by and say hello. Pay attention to you. I know. You probably had that up there for a while, didn't you? Um, let's see. So we're gonna go against Crimea first because we just got all those claims. Bashkiri. Kiri is gonna go first, and then we're gonna take over Nogai, but we need to have revolutions happen first, which means time just needs to go by. <sighs> Crap, because I don't want those happening right in the middle of the freaking wars that we're gonna create. And that would be incredibly detrimental. Uh, let's see, what do I want to fabricate? Um, let's, I can only do four, so we'll just do Kazan. Oh yeah, because they conquered Kazan last time. Uh, let's see, the armies should be getting all together now. We're going to finish this off handily. This is why they call it free trade, but I don't like free trade. I like mercantilism. We're going to control all the trade coming to us. Yeah, what the hell are we sure? 10, 2, 2. 10, 3, 2. 10, 3, 2, 10, 9. Need one more thing of cavalry. And death to spies. I'm fine with that. Mercantilism is actually really great for controlling how much of our economy stays within our borders. Why do I have forts? I know you heard me jack it up. I'm trying to say it right. Cavalry. Uh, oh yeah, because it's Tabir's land. Boards are useless. All they do is suck up my precious money. Why am I still in deficit? I'm not in deficit. There we go. That's okay. That's way less than it would be bad. Cross the sea, please. Kick their butt. Ah, the sound of rebels die. Music to my ears. Region in... Yes, in Turn off, change the story, that was good. Been trying to say cavalry, right? Cavalry. 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 Our truce with Sweden is ended, which means we can go to war with them again if we really want to. As Poland will get involved. Poland can suffer back. Ah! Another claim and no guy. Can't we? Oh, that's no guy, that's Bucharest. Not Bucharest. Bashkiria. There, Bashkiria. Yay, now we can fabricate one. We're doing Bada Subar. Okay, so we've got. 
two more revolutions. No barad. Why does no barad not be happening? I just plop you in the barad and see the other side of the piece of fall. What's up? Next to nothing. Oh, we accidentally decreased your atomic. Dudes with horses. I can say cavalry. That's me. See, you found the emojis, though. Uh, there's also a lot more emojis down below. Uh, it's buried in some menu. Well, you're not on the web base, you're on the app, so I'm not sure exactly how it works on the app. Okay, autonomy decreased, has expired everywhere, which means this should be gone. Yay! Um, actually, that might just go away pretty much everywhere. Well, no, not exactly. They're still just not happy because of separatism and intolerance because they're freaking Protestants. <laughs> um. In a non accepted culture. And they can just. Four years from now. That's not gonna happen anytime soon. That's not going to happen anymore. Okay, we're getting close, so we might as well just start prepping here. And we do have the, the slight vassal swarm that is going to be starts out to still with us. Uh, whoa. Ah, spend the money. That's a no-brainer, I have a ton of cash. Okay, now that we're down in the poor territories. Ah, son of a fuck. Three years. Uh, yes, yes, dear. Not everybody can be a papist. Like myself. Even though I don't really do that. Although there is the Papal States here, so I can go conquer Catholicism too. I'm sure that would make the rest of the world love me, you know, this whole section that's Catholic. Sweden became a center of reform for Protestants. It's not a surprise. Bohemia got it. Just, uh, eh, it's not really surprising, I guess. But that's theory again, and it's funny, and it's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna reform Austria. Huh? That's funny. They need to stop getting into my land, though. That's what happened. My land, mine. And I am orthodox. Why do you think we're going against the hordes? We've got to convert the Sunnis down there. Pope Fr What? The Pope, who is apparently France, has excommunicated the ruler of Austria. That's fun. Oh, because. Is he still the emperor? Yeah, Austria is still the Holy Roman Empire emperor. So interesting why they would do that. And that was my ally totally, totally screwing the shit up in your Because that's gonna really suck. If you, okay, we didn't lose that much though. So we're just gonna wait three years, I guess. How about we just trigger it? I can't just trigger it. Uh, I guess we gotta wait, because if I go against Crimea right now, it's gonna really suck. God, no, guy's actually expanding. So we're gonna take out Bashkiria first. Then we'll basically let them probably siege us, but then we're gonna take out Nogai. And then we'll take out Crimea. And their ally, the Ok. Pool. Yunlu? Those guys aren't really much of a threat. Uh, whoa, I have the previous rules. Yeah, goes. Uh, they've only got like 7,000. And Bashkiria has only 4,000, so they're gonna be nice and simple. And hopefully we'll take land from them, actually. Maybe we'll take them all! Uh, we don't have any aggressive expansion in this region of the world yet, so, and it should be far enough away 
a mirror, but they won't matter too much. Although we do have to be careful, because Lithuania's... Yeah, and Poland and Sweden's down below 50 now, that's not going to matter. I've conquered almost everybody that far away. And of course they caught the spy again. Keep building that spy network. Still can't convert anybody. Not in any real sense of time. And we have... Yeah. So now we need to spend this. Hey, can she? So we can get up to the next admin tech. Which means we can create some states. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. And we finally finished all the state stuff. We have a national decision we can do the Pact of Uniformity, which just gives us extra missionary strength. That is not a bad deal. Although we're going to use up a lot of the admin points, finishing up court and all that. And 77 months, oh my gosh, it is actually this to start uh, converting the dang papists. Yeah, they're not going to be happy for a while, but we need to get our religion in the end because it's starting to take some Denmark, Sweden is going against Denmark again. Denmark versus Norway. Denmark is fighting Sweden, Poland, Hungary, Slovenia, and Brandenburg. Holy crap. Norway and Denmark are going to be a thing of the past. The Swedish Empire might be kind of tough to take over soon. Now, hopefully, we can get a couple, at least one more guy, okay, so we can actually take it. Let's see. Uh, crack. And we can invest in Diplotech. Right. Uh, yearly prestige is not bad. Oh, we have extra five percent discipline. That's our military leader. It means our military is going to be kick butt. It's been three point eight years forever. It's actually. Been dead. Oh crap! Uncooperative philosopher. We lose the prestige, and we're actually going to bump stability. Fell. And see that fall. Um. Looks 4.9 years. Who knows why? Um, separatism fell. Uh, oh, because of positive stability. Yeah, let's just pull back. We're gonna get ready for the war. Because now that that's got like 4.9 years, that's got 20 years. For this good Oh, court separatism. Why are you guys just not happy? Just stay down. Down. Bad dog. Down. Okay, army is gonna move across. Support the reforms. Actually, it's gonna make the faster. Yeah, 52 months. This is actually getting in the realm of possibility. And we're actually gonna be able to convert Muslims. Or specifically Sunnis, because the stupid Sunni minus two to being able to be converted. You? Not accepted. Well, they are religious, too, because they just got converted. Abo got converted to Protestantism. Son of a fuck, that stupid center of Rome. That is gonna fighting me for a long, long time. Until we just conquer Sweden. Okay, I think uh, we can get claim in on you. Tribute Kitty. Kennedy or Samara? You want Samara. Better development or longer? It's gonna take us a while to eat. And Crimea in all honesty. Although, the only good thing is, is Crimea is actually not bordering the Ottomans. The Ottomans are actually in the south of Alpha territory. So we don't have to worry about them right now. Timmy's haven't exploded yet. Wow. Okay. Let's see what'll happen. They are gonna call in everybody. Uh, Saratov. Saratov. Will be our war goal. And they're gonna call in everybody. Let's lower the speed down, because this is gonna be a heck of a battle. Okay. We have still like twice as much armor as them. It's almost sad. 
Uh, your navy doesn't exist where my navy is, so why am I not having trade? Go from six. Uh, definitely Baltic Sea. I'll give us an extra 1.3 gold per turn. And we can raise war taxes if need be. Uh, they have five years. It's actually going down. So that's not a big deal. Uh, tech is caught up though, so we actually just need to up tech. It's only the better Kia is and everything. Okay, so. You. Uh, no, head up there. Gotta watch for their army. I mean, we pretty much have them outgunned ourselves, but. And their two tech levels are below us. This could be a slaughter. What? Did I change the map up to? There's their 4,000. <laughs> uh, we're just gonna try and walk in and take that. You're gonna be support. You're gonna come and conquer that. I got a level 1 captain. No, I can't. So their 4k is gonna get away, but. It's mainly just gonna be me coming in behind and conquering it. What can I say? Okay, so 28%, that's gonna start sieging down. They're coming in, but my allies might be able to take care of Crimea's army. Let's see if you can take Catan while we're at it, because you should be equally able to support either in the primary gun attack more than once. Because there's no guy's army. 19,000. Uh, my allies are gonna get the crap wrecked here. Because they're intermingling like crazy. And my capital's being attacked. But we're gonna get that, uh, Ashrik out of this as soon as their capital's down. Hopefully conquering them in process. And then we can go back and hit them, but I mean, it's not too detrimental. It's just they have no right to being on Moscow. Heathens set the foot upon our soil. Yep, they just got the crap kicked in. Um, ooh. <sighs> I don't have many mercenaries, dang it. Ah, that sucks. Okay, less mercenaries. Get in there, help. That worked, actually. And you you turn that around totally and won it. Good job, Alex. If you just don't roll like crap, you cannot believe you won that one. Under massive loss, but you won. Congratulations. Yeah, our if they just beat no guys on me and they're helping us each down another. No guys, this is gonna be an easy war. <laughs> This is this is going so well so far, and they're gonna start attacking the Crimea. You no, know, they're actually gonna try and pick off the armies, or not. Say it's a good thing. Go vassals, go allies, yay! Hip hip hurrah! Hip hip hurrah! Go vassals, go allies! Hip hip hurrah! Yay! Perps down. You know what that means? That means Bashmik is going. You pretty, come on! Yeah, I know, that's the whole point. Ushkiri military strength, because I didn't kill their army. That would help. Length of war is just not long enough. Okay, so we'll just give it some time. And they will agree to all my demands. Uh, for now, though, we actually do need to try and go back if we can. Stop this crap from happening. If we can break 30k against it, we'll, we'll just wipe the floor. Uh, yeah, a peace deal. Not one I want, though. So we'll just keep saying no until you little boogers. That is their allies for me now, it's out there. Siege of Moscow is over. Well, guess what? Moscow is soon going to be back in Russian hands. School be hands. We are we are in Russia right now. So feels wrong calling myself that. Um they are however we're gonna cut them off one way or another. 
they come down, if they keep going north, they're gonna get... Oh, they're going after my allies for it. It's worth more war score. Yeah, just keep coming. I'm gonna get you caught. Okay. Now my two ally armies are gonna move together. And if we take that out, that's like two-thirds of the... If we take out Crimea here, my ally spot, that's... Or my vassal spot, that's like two-thirds of their army. No. If we do that, this is gonna be something. Civil war in Switzerland. Sure. They're so neutral that they decided that they didn't want to be neutral against each other. That's that's how it played out. Please sit there. If you sit there, I will love you forever. Because you'll also be on the defense if you get a boat a negative supply with that. Because you're sieging. Oh, this is the best thing ever. Teleport to general. Ooh, 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 crap. Uh, best bet, hold ground. As much as that is going to suck. Allies, you need to get your butt up here. We're gonna flush that army over as soon as it gets done. But it looks like... My allies suck. We won't get here in time. I don't think I'm gonna get down there in time either. It, it, it's in our favor at the moment if we just roll. That's not a good roll. That's decent. That's not a good roll. That's decent. Yeah, it looks like we're doing okay. I just thought the sheer numbers, but the tech seems to be going in our favor. Um, and most of their stuff's cavalry. The dudes on dudes with horses. Most of their army is dudes with horses. So it means as soon as we get through their infantry, they're done. But they, just, they got reinforced by 7k in their infantry. Which gives my guys more time to get there, but... Yeah. Deus Volt! There's two wars, I should alright. Um, but I don't think we're gonna get there in time. That's gonna be a loss. We just need to get an army there as quick as we can, because we're gonna lose that battle. Ouch! That hurt. We're gonna catch the rest of that stupid army, though. Catch him. Uh. Damn it! Did you stop doing that, Sweden? Thank you. Thank you, Angel Kibby. Kill them all! Yeah, now you get wrecked. That army actually wants to recover. Go be our resieging force on Scoby. Guess what? It's not gonna be good enough. Have you agreed to terms? No, but you're closer. Closer. You're only 11 off now. Eleven off. Can't get my war score any higher, Billy. It's just think the forties keep going down. Okay, so war's going pretty good. We're gonna take out the guy next. Getting rid of no guy is gonna be a trick. Working on it, they're getting better. Hey, at least I didn't lose any cannon. Good. The siege continues. And we're regaining our troops there. We still have plenty of manpower. And their army is shattered. To hell and gone. Uh f bastards. Why do you guys keep claiming on my stuff? It's mine. Yours is yours, mine is mine, and yours will soon be mine. Ha ha ha. Oh! An allies army's gonna catch more of their army. Good. Good, good, good. That is pretty much all the guy 
ox army, and it's about to get hit pretty hard, although Crimea's army is showing up. Kill it quickly. There you go. See if you want to live. I don't think I can see all of those guys' territory. Dang it. Um, once again, are you ready? Not yet. We're closer, though. If you do a stab hit right now, I won't even care, really. For the next peace deal. I'm only four points away from being able to get everything I want. Oh, oh, run, 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 Sh shoot. Why are you going around that stupid way? Get out of there. And you're being called back into action, Third Army. Because Crimea is being a little thick. Internal conflicts in Uzbek means they're going to have a civil war. Just keep getting the brick out. Yeah, I don't think I can see all of the guys' territory, unfortunately. Which means conquering them is going to be a bit of a pain. Our army is under attack by 20,000 of them. Ah, uh, they caught me. Uh, this is... I can't beat 2 to 1 odds. So that army's just gonna basically get lost. Sands of mine. I can't be two. Maybe I can be two to one odds. Jesus. Can you just keep going? Cause maybe I can. Ah, oh, crap. Comet sighted. Either have to spend points, and then if I get stabbed up, I'm Am I actually winning a 2 to 1 odd battle? Jesus. That's incredibly, incredibly awesome. Uh, yeah, I can't see all of guys' territory, so my guy's just gonna have to get pieced out. And a slightly less authoritative fashion. Just get there. Don't let them lose. Come on. Murder! You should win that one, though. Because we're about roughly equal in numbers. Yeah. Our scale is really. That is not a stat loss, so that's good. Just kick their butt. Now we've got more troops, too. Just win. Before they have more reinforcements arrive. Finish it. There you go. They lost a lot. Okay, we're gonna go. Here you. Now can we do it? Thank you for finally agreeing. Um. Wow, with 84 countries. Ouch. Cool. Uh, they're above 80 percent, so I can't even raise a bond. Nice. And. People are angry with me, but it's 84 countries, but it's not that bad. No guy is really pissed at me because of that, because I annexed them, that's my real reason. Um, so we should be able to kick the crap out of most of that little army. No guy might actually be up for just considering peace now, but not for any land. Uh, which. That means if I could actually just get them into a decent little short peace deal. In seven years, I can come out of it later. Um, more reps. No, we should have extra here. No, we'll just do. What? You won't even accept that. Five. You will give me a grand total of five. There's 21 gold, but... Well, 
Well, I didn't have a cost of Bailey in too, so that's also why I didn't like it so much. But, okay, fine. Just take the gold. So now all we've got really to do with is crack the end. And I've also raised tensions among those countries considerably, considering we just forced them to defend south separately. So this should go fairly well now. They've got, like, no army to speak of. Squished. Hopefully we're gonna go hit that. Squish that. Where are these rebels going? Stop them. Okay. That's gonna get crushed. That's gonna get crushed. Crush it to and now we're going to actually move our army into the area. Yes. I love How did some cannons fly? They're going to start sieging back Moscow. Me. While we start taking down Crimea. They've only got three forts. Two forts. Three forts. A level three fort. One fort and a level two fort. It's not too bad, actually. Allies are coming in behind us. Not a big deal. Where are you guys going? Let's see if we can hit them there. Tell them to knack it. Come on, hit them. There we go. So they're going down. We're resieging this, uh, Moscow. Uh, this war's going fairly well. And I say fairly as in everything's going right, pretty much. Uh, we're losing cash, but not enough. Sums we paid. So, now nah, it's just basically CG. It's gonna take a little while, but that's primarily what this is. With very little army to test us out. About 15,000 people. That's like one of my armies in the strike. The sacking of Moscow. Uh, it's free stability for Crimea liking me less. And I'm at war. Why aren't I converting any more Papists? Uh, I've got one missionary, and he is currently converting Papists. So, I can't convert any more Papists. I have no more missionaries to send. Although I would convert this guy, but... Gosh, everything's going Protestant now, and that's going to be a pain in the butt to, to religious zeal wear, so I'll have to convert back. So that's why. Soon the Papists will become Orthodox, but it'll take a little bit. Not to mention it just looks like they're going to be converted back into freaking Protestants. Uh, unless I get religious zeal from converting them. Oh, Sweden's almost all Protestant now. Uh, yeah, those two territories are my last Catholic. Awesome. <laughs> Little devil face. Alright, Moscow is mining in. Bring the army south. I don't. Okay, fine. Try what you want. Um, I guess this, since we're almost done with these wars, would be the good time for something new I wanted to introduce in this stream. What I'm calling historical nuggets. Little nuggets of historical facts that you may or may not find interesting. And if you wish, you can pursue further. Pursue further. Pers ah, pursue further research if you wish. Since really all we're doing right now is sieging down, the historical nuggets are meant to kind of make, make the downtime a little more interesting since this is a little bit of downtime since we're just kind of, you know, conquering everything with no real fight ahead of us. Uh, except what's going on here. Shivran and Korra Kulun is now attacking Crimea. Uh, well, at least no guy can help fight along, but that war is not going to go very well. Just saying. Um, talk about opportunistic AI. Anyway, first historical nugget of the night. Uh, this is about Crimea and Nogai, actually. They were both called something actually different besides what's in the game, surprisingly. 
Crimea was known as the Crimea Conate, the Crimea Conate, and the guy was known as the Norvai Hordes. And everybody just kind of freaked out. Are basically leftovers of the collapse of the Mongol Empire in the late 1200s uh, when the Mongol Empire collapsed uh, after Genghis Khan's rule which he conquered pretty much everything uh, the Empire was split among his four sons and they became Khanates so these two remember the Golden Horde that was around earlier possibly if you if you watched earlier streams Golden Horde that got its crap wrecked and they live right around in here. Um, Crimea and Nogai were actually part of the Golden Horde, which was one of the original four continents that split off from, well, that were from the original fracturing of the Mongol Empire. So these two split off from the Golden Horde. And as you can see, conquered the Golden Horde, as is tradition in history. But that is your first historical nugget of the night. So we're going to try and finish up this war, but the allies pulled off at the siege for some stupid reason. I don't know why they pulled out now. Because they're hunting down the dang Crimean army. Which, they're not getting much out of the war score with Crimea, because I'm just sieging all of it. Uh, Trisbord actually has Kaffa, which means we're going to take a less direct route around. After that, you can see that, and that'll be it. Uh, Dipping Sauce with those nuggets. Interesting concept, I just don't know how to get sauce. Maybe I could play some saucy music next time during the historical nuggets. That would be your Dipping Sauce. Metaphorically, I guess. Hey, look what we can do! Claim. Oh, and we can claim actually against uh, another one of their territories. Okay, uh, let's see, just going mediocre. Get up there. Take Azov. Uh, looks like, yeah, I mean, he's getting the cap crap kicked out of him in more than one war. Uh, I wonder if I can get their allies out of this so I can get 100%. Uh, fort defense. Well, that sucks, but sure, it's a crappy bonus. There comes my army through Lithuania. I'm sure they're ecstatic about that. And I don't see any real way to get down here, so yeah, there's probably no way. Unless I can just get a piece out separately. Yeah, no, they're not gonna have anything to do with us because we have like no war score and stuff, except maybe killing an army. We're gonna kill another army of the Crimea there, but not of their ally. Which I can't pronounce! And these will be the last few set of uh, provinces of Crimea, and then basically we'll own everything. Uh, we already have their capital. Maybe. How we siege down their capital? Or... Nope, the level three right there is their capital port. So that's gonna take a little bit. We finally managed to convert the heretics of Kola. That would be the papists to the one true faith, and now we're going to be starting the conversion of four papists to the one true orthodoxy and faith. Uh, we do still have, actually, some people trying to rise up here. Those guys, specifically, are going to be a problem. One year, Perm's going to get people rising up in two years. The Livonians, but it just keeps going down, I assume. Well, I guess war exhaustion's up. Uh, Finnish separatists. Screw them. <laughs> Basically. Okay, so we will be moving this army once it's done up to take care of the rebellion. That's gonna pop. Wow, 
What are you? You're sieging down my land. Yes, just keep heading that way, because we're probably going to catch it. I hope we do. No, we're not going to catch him, because we're going to take out these little guys. These little, that little tiny army of Korea. Now they're gone. Go! No! Stop being paused and move. Okay. Sieges are going well. Well, we're gonna see if the second siege goes well. Yeah, we got splash which means we made progress, which means he yay! Except what did the Ottomans try and attack? Poland, Hungary, Lithuania, and Brandenburg. I thought I'd never say that unless I was playing as them, but yes, take out those, please. Po oh, except that Poland's kind of doing pretty good. Uh, invest in a bigger army, raise taxes. Our manufactories will, will benefit. Um, let's go with a bigger army. We are going after the manpower mod anyway. Uh, manpower achievement anyway. The million man manpower. Okay. It's gonna be a year still, but doesn't mean we can't kill him now. Yeah, where you go? Where you go? You go and be mine. Mine, 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 mine. I want to hurt you so I can get a little bit of war score against you. Come on, hurry up. Don't let him go south. Go south. Yay! He's gonna get cornered. Just like the rest of his buddies there. Uh, he's gonna. I'm not sure exactly what he's gonna do, but he's gonna stand, I guess, and fight with his allies because he knows he's trapped like a rat. Which does make sense because rats won't fight, but we're gonna kill him anyway. Boom! Caught him. And what army of my enemies? Hey, conquered that fort. Sweet. Didn't lose that many troops either. Um, you're gonna come back up north. Look at that. My font is getting bigger. You can draw. You can judge a true worth of a country in this game by the size of their font. It's the true mark of a great civilization size of their font on the map. That's probably gonna squish as soon as I land there. Right? Yeah, it didn't squish, but it lost they lost the war the battle immediately. Well they pretty much lost the war at this point too. Your glorious armies are under attack and ah, right. uh, I don't know what happened there. Probably like three hundred troops. Me and Pascal, and we wrecked them. So that army's gonna head up north. We're still sieging their last force, and then we're going to claim peace. Peace in our time, we claimed. And that worked out of just about as well for Neville or the Chamberlain. This is gonna work out for me. This I shouldn't say that, because that means he got World War II and Britain almost lost. However, I'm winning. Oh gosh, I hope I don't get drugged into the friggin... Oh, crap, I don't remember the war right now. But the Protestants versus the Catholics. Hey, look at that! 95% war story. You know what that means? Nom 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 nom. At least if I can help it. Uh, I really don't want them taking much of the war right now, so... <clears throat> we need to cut them off if we can. This is gonna be incredibly, incredibly crazy, but... I can't cut them off from that, but if I can cut them off from this, that means that they can't. <laughs> We're gonna have, like, this appendage coming off of us. 
but it's going to mean, especially since we have claims, that this is possible. Um, but it's going to mean that they can't take anything except Turek there. Uh, unless they take stuff from the guy. Uh, that means also Lithuania's. Eh, that's going to suck because Lithuania can take some stuff. I won't take that one because it's worth more. Lithuania takes that, it won't be the worst thing in the world. But it means eventually we can just come back and keep conquering Crimea whenever I dang well feel like it. Oh, I hope I don't have to fight if Lithuania or Shivan Shirvan takes that. We can end up badly. Alright, now we'll take 40 gold. Yay. And a lot, a lot, a lot of land. Boom, war over. <laughs> it's all mining carp. Driving this kind of carp. Little bitty pieces! Little bitty pieces of death! Okay, we need to raise local autonomy or we're gonna get wrecked with rebellions out here. <laughs> I, I can actually start doing claims then against some people down here, and that means I can conquer farther south. <laughs> I know it's overly high. Shut up. This is how the war goes. Um. <laughs> that one's funny. Okay, we need to get administrative level 10 if we really want to become Russia. I don't know if we're going to be able to do that tonight or not with how much I just. <laughs> Uh, so there will be a rebellion down there at some point, um, but it's all a fair few years away still, so means our other armies come back up here and prepare for the rebellion that is sure to come. Um, we've gained the Holy War causes, oh, against those people because I have they as old as religious influence ideas. So I immediately get a whole war show superiority war goal. Um, it costs us Bailey belly against any neighboring regions that are not of the same religion. We're gonna have to convert all those Sunnis to Oh, I don't want to convert all of them! That's right, because that territory was partially orthodox, which means that's an orthodox territory, which means less of a problem. I am so happy right now. If you couldn't tell. I did actually. <laughs> That's funny. We're gonna start building spy network against you because guess what? You have two little territories and you're orthodox, which means your people will love you as their ruler. Right? I'm sure that's how it works. And we converted somebody. Big problem. This is if I make it into a state. It, one, it's going to cost me money, but two, it's going to cost me more admin points. Because basically all those admin points I just spent only are half of the coin cost for all those territories. And it's going to cost me about none of that again to create states out of everybody. Uh, the Holy Roman Empire has elected Austria as their emperor again. I don't know why. Oh, and we have that peace coming with Nogai soon. Right. Was still allied with Crimea and Sindh now, but in 28, three years, that war will be fine. But we're not going to be able to take the admirals. Um, we really should probably create a vassal and have them suck up most of this crap. I should have had Perm take that. Would have been the smartest thing to do. Um, yeah, I know. Ah, uh, okay, but unfortunately, it's not really good. Oh, uh, wow. Three years, one and a half years. Because of some stupid reason. Or if, why do you hate me? Oh, the overextension is going to be the killer. Isn't that all I understand? Until this goes away, overextension is going to cause a lot of unrest for a 
lots. Did we get our 40? No. We got found out, dang it. Bump it back at the speed bag. So we can get through this. Okay. Let's go ahead and keep the boy so we can get another claim on him. Still haven't finished up their war, although it looks like the guy maybe having a comeback. Hey, there they are. Wreck them. Uh, it doesn't look like they're going to be doing well at all. Yeah, Shibrat's doing pretty good, actually. Execute him for treason, a native rel a naive relative, a close member of the family of our rulers, proven utterly naive. He keeps telling foreigners vitally important information. This is technically treason, but executing a member of our royal of our royalty might cause arrest. So lose ten prestige or get foreign spy detection minus one ten percent. That's fine. Okay, so that rebellion is put down. We had recent rebellion now, so that will stay away for a little while. Um, one point eight years, two years. Ah, uh, this to me. Let's come back over here because uh, those ter my other territories don't necessarily like me. Like I'm expanding so far and the Russians have a bad job of keeping together a densely populated empire. Not necessarily a large empire, but densely populated. Technically, I'm not even close to like even present day European Russian borders, I don't think. Because I need to definitely have more of Lithuania. Definitely more than Caucasus, but that's pretty Oh, disputed secession, the Odro. The following countries lack heirs. So if I can get somebody with the royal family, I can get an heir off of that. Trebizond. Excuse me, Trebizond. Those two are allied with each other. How quaint. Uh looks like the Ottomans took a chunk. Why are you into uh, conquer Ragusa? Don't guarantee their independence. Good lord, England is getting wrecked by France and Scotland right now. Although they did reconquer Northumberland. So yes, Sweden. Looks like Poland had a chunk taken out of it, which is good for me because that means I can start. Good for me, and it's bad for me. Two years, 0.9 years, that's gonna happen at some point. That's gonna happen in four years. That's gonna happen in two years. Gosh, why don't they just like me? I don't understand it. Well, when I get a cord, that'll help. Where's my money going? Eh. Seriously. There's no forts. Advisors, state maintenance, I don't have a dang loan in sight. Some things aren't helping anyway. Uh, just another day in the life of ruling a great Russian empire. Oh, woe is me. Alright, how about historical nugget number two for the night? Uh, this is about the no guy. Nogai, actually in history, were pushed south and west by the Russians until they eventually lost their independence. Which is being, you know, like everything, got absorbed by the Russians. The Reformation branches out. And uh, surprisingly though, from the Nogai, an original population does still exist in the Caucasus. Uh, within, I think it's the Caucasus, or close to the Caucasus anyway. Within... A uh, district of Russia that the Russians actually named after them. It's called the Nogai district. How nice of them to just be completely obliterated, at least nationally. And then they're like, oh, well, don't feel bad. We gave you something named after you. Gosh, I can't convert any of this. Um, it's gotta make you feel good about yourself, right? Uh, yes. Because we're gonna have to core some more stuff, and I gotta take this carefully so I don't just eat up everything. 
all my admin points. Uh, looks like the Livonian is actually shrinking by a large amount. Seven years, two years, forty-four years, and the Finnish are really have nothing to worry about. They're six years. Rom's gonna be a Crimeans now. Crimeans south, so we'll just keep marching our armies around until we have somebody to fight. Uh, if we make a mistake, I also think it helps. We should be able to do that. I'm okay without getting too crazy here. Too wild and crazy again. Yeah, we're out of states now, so we don't have enough so any more area for states, so that's basically all we can pour for now. Until we get more states. By taking up or becoming an empire, which allows us to have more states. Which, guess what? We can become an empire when we change to Russia. Which we just need the points for, which is a lot of points still. Is that gonna be ready the next level? 1533. Yikes. Uh, we'll get another idea group then too. Hey, we could possibly take the colonialism. One. Uh, we can take that, but the cities of 700 suck up a lot. 650, yeah, we'll do the next. That is admin, isn't it? Yes. Which colonialism will be a diplo, so we can actually start colonizing Siberia, you know, as much as that's going to be worth. A whopping three. Um, if we started integrating, well, we should probably start improving relations with you. We'll start improving relations with them as well, so we can start the integration process on them eventually. And I did say I kind of wanted to call them these goodies, that's right. Uh, I can't forget those little things. Remembering to conquer people. They're just so important. We'll send one army down to deal with them. Okay, and uh, we'll just do it quick. You guys can't do anything because you have peace deals with me. Although the Ottomans are kind of pissed, sort of Lithuanians. Uh, shoot, 67, 63. That's actually not a great idea to keep conquering these little guys. I mean, though it would be easy territory, it would bring the wrath of a couple of nations that would, in the end, uh, well, they actually wouldn't do anything because they would need Poland to do something. Ah, let's do it, see what happens. Live on the edge. Kapow. them off and almost finish them off anyway and finish sieging down that province so that way that they can raise another army. Yes, now you're really gonna lose. And you did. Uh, there was a peace deal but I missed it because I didn't speed going so quickly but who cares because I'm just gonna siege down and take everything. Which is two little provinces, it's not a lot. But we're gonna take it down, fish it off. Yeah, I know, you'd be willing to... Actually, not. Actually I could have you become a vassal. Because you could vassalize anything down here for me. I might just have you be a vassal. Uh, because if I just take you... Actually, it's not even that bad. Where you can become a vassal, which actually gives me less, and then I wouldn't have to core you. I'm just gonna take all your money. 
Yeah, I'd just become a vassal. Church authority is fine. So you have high liberty desire. Because of aggressive expansion, I was declared war, and I force vassalized you. Boo frickin' who? Just start improving relations with you as soon as I get a diplomat back. And we won't have to worry about that anymore. And it will give us one more rebellion to have to play. Okay, things are going pretty well. While we're working on integrating some vassals, we're going to make more vassals. And... I'll bring quite a bit of people underneath our realm. Oh, look how they all well, love me. I have claims on all those stuff. Um, and look how, wow, everybody hates me. <laughs> because I've been declaring war left and right. Ah, uh, how it's good to see all the red. That was not quite our plan, why not you? Commit Sudoku. You lost me money. Or did I lose this money and commit Sudoku? Damn it. That would be terrible. Cats behind me are going crazy. Silly cats. Silly gibbies. So, yeah, um... It's not gonna be quite a lot going on right now, because I'm trying to get admin tech up, and I'm gonna try and keep... I like a build prop. Eventual improvements. Uh, taxes. Extra tax revenue. Um. Ooh. Yeah, right there. Point three. That's not bad. I don't care about local production efficiency. We don't have manufacturers yet. I don't care about that. Local manpower modifiers is not a bad thing. But there's very few that actually give me bonuses worth talking about. Uh, actually, there's one for 500. So it's not terrible. Some others for. There's 494, it's not bad. Um, you and you as well. Yeah, we'll call it that for now and stop spending money. Get production going. Oh, uh, we should actually. We can. We're gonna keep increasing our trade fleet. That will help up our income substantially. Let's just fill it out if we can. What little navy <laughs> I have or need. Isn't that a trade thing up here? Yes. Somehow. The White Sea. Area of trade. The Baltic Sea is the more rich one, though. White Seas get like kids like to trade, especially in the winter, I guess, because it's all freaking frozen over the coastline. Is see now it's thawed out. You could actually get out to court. Um, gosh, guys, what are you doing, map? Just taking so bleeding long. Six years, two point two years. These guys in like thirty six years want to try and do something. More power to them. Still don't have the religious power we need. Uh, we could just get there. It's three extra missionary strength. Land force limit modifier. Oh my gosh! I can increase my arm, which I already can actually give a substantial amount. Substantial. Morale of armies. It's nice. Except that our economy really can't support it at the moment. We're gonna have a bigger trade fleet though soon, and that bigger trade fleet means more money. Monetary reforms. Ow! I can lose what stability and I'll be fine. Jesus. Okay. Our problem is we I can mean, have a huge army, it's just gotta be a cheap army because we do not have it massive economy whatsoever. Hey, the Crimeans are going to revolt 
everybody come together. Come together! That is a massive, massive rebellion army. <sighs> Man, it's gonna take up a lot of our army to stop. Let the Holy Church be. Let them just do their thing. Crap, we lost a lot. Wow! Look at the men loss. 17,000 from that. Holy crap. Well, that puts us in the weakest state ever. Uh, Royal Marriage with our good little buddy down there. We actually has a fleet in the uh, Caspian Sea. And has 2,000 army, which is crap, but it's better than anything else. Has excommunicated the ruler of Austria again. Once military access, Theodro. Oh god, who's Theodro? Crimea and Nogai. Just because I feel bad that how, for how badly you're gonna lose that war, yes, you can have military access. It's gonna be terrible for you, though, I'm saying. Okay, we can almost do the next. Uh, whoa, okay, we can actually do a few techs. I don't really wanna do that tech, I wanna do. Just get disappointed to do that. Let's do cavalry combat ability idea. Uh, ship durability, while nice, is not necessary. Is not necessary. And we're really gonna need to save that in case we lose really anybody else technological or anybody that has any kind of decent technology. See, they're up to eight, nine. I'm at nine, which means yeah, I need to. Back. We really just need to keep tech going on the admin front rather than trying to conquer more. Um, however, we could use our diplomatic to start integration here. Uh, Pascal, we'll begin your integration process. Thank you, you have been kind to us, uh, but we feel that your annexation is now more beneficial for the Mazalat cost you for a month until said time is done. Shouldn't take long. This rate, uh, Perm is offering a royal marriage to us. There's going to be integrated or something. Actually, Perm's going to be integrated now. It's going to take a total of 336, it costs us 3 Diplo per month, and we make 5 Diplo per month, so it's going to take us... <laughs> we're actually going to lose Diplo points in this period, because between two of them, it's going to take us 7 Diplo a month to do, to do this um, integration. And we only make 5, so, aka, mass. Bloodthirsty pirates have infested the White Sea? No! What will we ever do? Except nothing. Because no ships ever go up there. We'll split off one ship to go actually protect trade up there. Because the White Sea doesn't give us crap. 0 0.28, fine. You go protect trade up there. Just because otherwise they're gonna siege us. Or blockade us, it's gonna be a big pain in the butt. Oh, look at this! Ooh, military power and tradition or admin power. With and the stab and the stability it's a good stab. Always take a free stab. So where's this ship that was supposedly going up to the like White Sea? Sure. Can you just, like, head up there? There. Shouldn't be that. Uh. Shouldn't be that. This will be interesting. Still gonna take years to convert anybody, and that will cause a rebellion. Look! 
for fighting, and we lost. Big time. I stopped the pirates from coming. There, we can just build an extra ship up there. Fine. And once you're repaired, and have your morale back, you two can go take them out together. And who did France just declare war on? Austria, Alsace, the Palatine, Switzerland, and Augsburg. Augsburg. Austria actually came back a little bit and reconquered uh, Triple. But they're going to have a hard time now. Brandenburg is still small. Wales actually conquered some of England's land. England's in the middle of a revolution now. And the rest of the world is burning. Um. I guess I'm one of those men that just likes to watch the world burn. I get it, because I'm watching the map. The world's burning. Yeah, it wasn't that funny. Austria received a gift from Wales. I guess Wales doesn't like France very much. Alright, recall the diplomat from them. We had that revolt finally happen. We'll just go crush it real quick. Hardly lost any men. That's good because our manpower needs to recover. So now we really don't have any rebellions going on for the time being. Crimea, on the other hand, does. How is Crimea losing this war? How? That's not a rebellion, that's Theodro conquering. Once again, my sentiment. How on earth is that happening? Uh, anyway, back to reality. That is not reality down in Crimea. That is imaginary. Still can't convert anybody. I just went. And there's no more of those heathen papists to convert, so that's good. But, uh, look at you. Good to go now. Hey, look at this. We only have to wait till March 1540 and we can make Russia. Maza Russia would be, ex would be happy. And that also gives us a lot of claims. Uh, so that wouldn't be a bad way to go. Uh, let's lose the prestige. Prestige is exceptionally high. Uh, global trade power. Just straight up increase. That's nice. on because then we can get the colonialism and we can really start busting out some Russian colonies and maybe even get Alaska. Wouldn't that be exciting? Crap. Where's Bell... Bell... Zero. Yeah. There. Yeah, we can't do that. We'll lose the stability. We had plus two. We only need really plus one, so that's fine. Okay, now I'm kind of tired of this crap. Kill him! It's two on one, should be easy. And it was, it was super, super simple. Now you can protect trade in the white freaking sea, alright? There you go. Now you actually have the mission and you're actually making money. Good. Uh. Diotro won and took things we had claims against. <sighs> How on earth did that happen? And Shivan has things we have claims on. Shivan. So we're gonna have to take that too. And if we want to finish up this Crimea episode, I don't think this we can finish this. Which is just tolerance of the true faith. Unless we own a couple of these. And Crimea cannot exist. So that's always fun. Genocide! So, yeah, eh, it's just gonna be another battle against Crimea. Which we will probably actually do as soon as this, uh, as soon as we make Russia. Hmm? 
Because we do get a few as a bonuses. Um, where is exploration? There it is. We get a colonist. We get allows recruitment of explorers and conquistadors. Extra colonial range. And then we can basically start making colonies. That'll also give us some other bonuses up here, though, to get through our national ideas. However, uh, uh, should I really even go for that? Because we're going to get the colon. He is colonial. The freaking colonist for Siberia. Maybe I should go for influence ideas. Because influence ideas is not a bad way to go for a third. A maritime, we're not going to have much navy trade ideas, nor trade diplomatic, screw that. Espionage. Isn't that. No, that sucks too. We'll go with influence so we have less aggressive expansion. It's cheaper to annex, and um, we get more money from vassals at the end of the day. That's what it comes down to. Oh, we're so close. Accept demands. Ouch! For 10 years, monthly autonomy will just keep going up. We get a 0 0.05. I've always been curious how that actually works. Estimation. Okay, but we're at peace, so instead of just going down quick, so quickly, it actually just goes down slower. That's not such a big deal then. <laughs> Integrating! Yay, integration's done. The Scald. Which gives us more army. Didn't necessarily ask for. No, 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 yeah, discipline. It's a, it's a discipline! You need a discipline! Dang it, I hit the mic, sorry. You need a discipline! Then we're gonna get the Perm army here soon. And well, we need it against, I guess, Chevron. We can start building a spy network against and Deodro. We can start building a spy network against, so we can conquer them more easily. Oh, you need the discipline. You need the discipline for your life. Support the reforms because that gives us more uh, ability. What happened? To religious, whatever happened, what happened? Ah, what? <sighs> Did I lose a modifier I had that gave me increased missionary strength? What the fudge? That kind of irks me. Oh, and we got a fort. Can't believe that happened. So now we can't even. We're not even close to converting students. And where the hell did that come from? Ah, crap! I must have just not seen it. So my army is nowhere in place. The triangle trade. That means England is. North America by now. Just keeps going, just keep going, just keep marching in, killing and killing. Yes! They're going to try to come over here. They shall lose. Why are we stuck at 50%? Sick. Seriously. Because it fell under. Really? Never mind, I guess we're not gonna annex perm anytime soon. We'll just have to integrate that army into the rest. I was just gonna combine it with theirs, but they're all pissed off at me now for. Dang! 
What ifs? What ifs? Five years. Everything else is pretty weak. Let's head back and get ready to make another push on Crimea so we can definitely get Russia. Then the true con well, not really the true conquest, but the rest of Crimea will fall. Um, do I have enough? Do I have enough? Do I have enough? Soon I will have enough. And once I do, the great ah, Sweden, budge off. Great and mighty Maz of Russia. Be re no, I didn't want that. France is running out of still. I don't want to create a subject or a vassal. Good. Don't want to. Iraq just became a thing. But the Kara, gosh, they actually got pretty big. Although they're fighting with Timmy's. And they're losing against the Timmies ish. Uh, except they're fighting no guy. Tarabas then. Or Har sorry, I know I murdered that. Okay, we're getting ready to finish up here. Well, with our, uh,. Well, we've lost a claim on a province. Oh, I bet you because I just ran out of time. But guess what? Um. Yeah, I ran out of time. Guess what? Uh, being an empire will give me. Having a, an empire will give me. Claims on all of it. Sorry, wife texted me. Apparently, she her Twitch just took a crap. So she, hopefully, she'll be back soon. Um, let's see. Ah, more bloody prison. That's ah, just my stupid allies. Let's go help them. Aren't you guys coming? The like. Conquest of Crimea is at hand. Okay, the sweating sickness spreads through Moscow. This can't be good. Let's see. We lose the stability, that's sick. That sucks. Lose money, or lose under Diplo. Well, I have plenty of money. Elections, Austria is still the freaking emperor. Papal France, what the hell is the papal states going to Jesus. Alright, I think we're ready to create. Well, there's that. Uh, let's take the idea. Just to, not the word I'm looking for, just to make draw the suspense. We're gonna take influence ideas because it's gonna allow us to more income from our vassals, better chance of an heir, better yearly prestige, diplomatic annexation costs will be cheaper, and aggressive, ah, aggressive expansion impact will be much less. So we will take influence ideas. And crap, I can only take one right now. I was gonna take two. So I can get uh, land force land a lot more. Well, who? Uh, we'll just do ship durability. That'll get it for us. And we can almost do tech and land force limit modifiers. <laughs> 83,000, everybody. And actually, we have a couple other things we can see if we can do. Tolerance of heretics would be down, but missionary strength up. Which means there's a, no, there's not. We'll take it later. That'll make it faster. Because national unrest is gonna suck anyway. Here in a minute. Um, we are 
Mother Russia. A new tradition. What? A new traditions and ambitions. Oh, Muscovite traditions. Crap, I don't know if this is worth it. Uh, what's the Russian traditions? I don't know. Does anybody know in chat? I gotta look real quick because this is like a critical decision. I'm sorry. Uh, Russian traditions. E4. Because if I take this and it screws me, I'm gonna be pissed. 25%. That looks fine. Uh, it looks like it's not gonna change anything, actually, because it's from the Muscovite ideas. Which does not exist. Plus 50% National Manpower modifier, but that's after I get them all. So. Pray? Nothing, absolutely nothing changed, so I have no idea why they even said that would happen. However, we can form more states now. Uh, 20, well, we can go up to 25, but 2 to be exact at the moment. They will take more. Admin points. Crap. Okay. That pretty much wipes us out on admin points. <sighs> now the Maza Russia. Is here, and we will conquer the rest of all belongs to Mother Russia. Start as a country of Russian culture and form Russia. I did not realize that was actually an achievement. That's pretty awesome. So not only did we create Russia, we made we got an achievement. Uh, we rule. Quality of our troops is impressive. We have a hundred prestige. How the hell did I get a hundred prestige? Wow. Which means that it's the case quite rapidly, but Jesus, aggressive empire. Um aggressive expansion uh in impact is actually less, but we just don't have the numbers right now be able to handle that kind of uh, some expansion. We don't have this freaking admin points to do it. That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, income from vassal selection not bad at the moment. We should, however, I think consider working on making that fourth army. Morale of navies, that sucks because that means I lost my discipline. No, that was Diplo. I've still got my 5% dis discipline. A discipline. So we need like six thousand more infantry, another man of horses, or dudes with horses, as Angel could be decided. Uh, I should say it was just like saying can't say cavalry, right? But I'm trying. So we need six more infantry. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna need a dude with horses and two cannon. Ah, apparently she made it back. But it's giving her issues, so it's she's probably having internet connectivity issues, unfortunately. But the rest of that army is gonna be built. And we will have another massive army. Where do we actually rank the scale of armies right now? At the top! Where we deserve to be. Force limit? Actually, the Ottomans have more force limit than us. And uh, manpower, France beats us, surprisingly. That sucks because that's supposed to be my shtick. Yeah, sure, her internet's having big issues. Uh, I actually see I gained a couple of new followers, so I wanted to thank you guys for following. 
I appreciate it. I, uh, actually, that reminds me to get, like, the chat mod set back up again. The Council of Hamburg is... No, pause, 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 pause. Uh, crap's happening with the church. Fun. Oh, embrace the counter... the counter... So that means that... Oh god, what is going on? It's being converted, it's being converted. You got reformed, apparently. The... Oh, the counter-reformation. They're being reformed now, not Protestant. Um, so it looks like the centers of reformation for the reformed Catholicism is Scotland, Switzerland, and Brunswick. Interesting. Very, very interesting. So we need to finish this army, and we actually have some points now. Yes, that means we should make that last state. I mean, that's only going to cost us money. Oh, dear God, so much for all of my money. Although that doesn't count as overextension. Which means that I could technically... What are they doing? Would you just stop them? Crap. Okay, which means in the future, if that doesn't count as overextension. That means the penalties don't come with overextension. Which means... I can actually have a full overextension belly without actually... having to worry about too much else. Wow, Crimea's got a good rebellion. Hey, ships are cheaper. Oh, speaking of, did my ship limit go up? Because then I can increase trade ships. For a vital economy that I need. Oh, crap, don't go there. Take like 200 days more for no reason. Not a great naval power, but I do need the trade income. So now we have claims. Yes, on large area. Uh, lots of the Crimea and the Caucasus and some area down over here into the Nogai territory. It looks like even into the Uzbek territory. Um, so we need points. We're gonna keep getting points. Yes, we won the siege because I'm awesome and my allies suck. And they're allied with them again. All two nations, two provinces they have. That's just pathetic. Oh, Trebizond actually has there as well. So we almost have enough. Crap! Not intentional. Uh, the only thing that's going to suck is if we attack Crimea right now, we're going to have to deal with the rebels. However, no guy will fall pretty easily as well. Um, do you still have claims, right? Yeah, so if we could actually take out most of the guy this time. Well, I've got permanent claims quite a bit now. Not on that one for some odd reason. Oh, because I actually did get... I got permanent claims on this stuff, not up here. That's just because I did that. It's true. Which also means we can actually... But that should run... We cannot. Uh, let's wait just a little bit longer. And then we're going to start... Probably the last war of the evening. It's our rival? You're not that big. Crap, you are. Um, fine. You make it an easy one. So as we're sitting here just gaining up a few extra points, I think it is time to move on to our third historical nugget. Our third historical network nugget is actually about Perm. Uh, Perm is 
one of the greater cities, apparently, at this point in time. Uh, I think of it as... it controlled the territory around it. So it acted like a city-state. From what I can tell, it's actually not like a city-state, like the Italian city-states were. It wasn't really independent, it always was either a part of or allied with Russia. But they control basically the territory around their city. Perm is actually still a real city in Russia to this day. With residing in the Perm Cry Federal District in Russia, the Perm Cry Federal Federal District's administration center is actually the city of Perm itself. So that's a little bit about Perm's history for you. Okay, let's see. Russian Patriot cost of reducing the work session display. That is not bad at all. Uh, I just wish I could do that. We would need to get those ideas into that. Oh, look, we can actually do this fairly prestige. Prestige will decay slower. <laughs> um, which actually gives us a lot. It's just it doesn't give us missionary power. Or missionary strength, which we're going to need. That That's just going to be a at some point. I think it is now. Uh, I guess it's time to finally do this so we can change those units or storming off into war um let's do this one because we can get good on attack and defense and usually on the attack and that's good cavalry up cavalry dudes with horses it's better dudes with horses so once the morale gets up from that being switched around we're gonna go to war Yes, because Crimea is getting wrecked, and the rebels are kind of doing a lot of the wrecking for me. Not a bad thing. Okay, declare war. We're actually going to go for Saratov again. Ah, oh, let's just do Mansur. That's good. Uh, I could do no guy like, call them co-belligerent, but that would... The cold belligerent thing would be bad because then their allies would come too. I just don't think their allies are that bad. Sind and Ka Karan. Uh, Kira Karan. I guess it would depend on how much army they have. So, there. Go down to the queues. They have 15,000. Ah, let's just not. Screw with that. So, we're gonna do. Mansur. I just love war trumpets, don't you just love the sound of impending doom upon your enemies? Yeah, we're just gonna come in, hit Crimea hard, then we'll worry about no guy. Uh, however, since they are the primary, is the issue here? Gosh dang it. Depends on it's at risk. It's not up here. And Zob. Uh, I don't want to worry about you guys. So now how this is going to go. Golden Horde's gone away. 55 years. Not anymore. Uh, 12 years. 10 years. It's fine. To get cl closer, we'll just watch them. Oh, I really need to lower that. Um... What army? We got a fair amount of infantry, and if they catch, if their entire army can catch one of mine, yeah, we might lose that battle. Big deal. Uh, yeah, let's just go with the base tax architecture. Local autonomy, that's not a huge problem. Uh, okay, nice. Sieging down, we're actually gonna go take care of these rebels. They're in the way. Uh, yeah, and then we'll have you siege that. Actually, you're gonna move back in there, you're gonna move there. Oh, remember what I said about them catching one of my armies? Could happen. But then I've got those allies right there. It's not a big deal. Uh, 
Um, we're actually going to have to siege down all of that. Those two armies will sweep south. Excuse me. Those two armies will sweep south. And they've got 15k. That's just their army right there. And it's mainly Nogal. Nogai. What did I say Nogal for it? I got Mongols on the raid. Uh, sweep south. Finish this. Then we're just gonna go to the northeast and take over all of the guy. And that'll be this war. Pretty simple. We've got enough of uh, some admin points, we should be able to take over quite a bit of this territory. Why is that taking so long? I guess we don't have a big technological advantage as we did the last time. That might only be one. Like, yeah, because they're a nine, and I'm just made ten. That's not bad. They only lost a little more than me. It's not great, but it's not bad. Uh, so basically, yeah, where I had two tech levels, now I only have one tech level difference, so it's not that big a difference. That's all. Um, those little boogers. Go stop them. Then we'll send those two armies northeast. That army south. Continue on the rampage. I didn't even look to see if anybody's really pissed off at me. Not really, except no guy. I'm gonna be a war here in peace. So that's not a big deal. I wonder if Sweden still has their alliance with Poland. Yeah, they do. Although Sweden took over all of Norway and um, most of Denmark's gone now too. Uh, I really, really should probably. They seem to have a significant hatred of Poland. That's a hell of an alliance. Dang. How do we feel about the institutions? Unfortunately, um, I started this game like a day before institutions came out. So we are still playing technically on 1.17. Uh, Electric elected Austria. So I've actually been testing out the institutions with the Indian game. I'm playing as uh, the Jainagar, and then I started, and now they're Baharat. Uh, actually, if you look at my Twitter down below, there are pictures on my Twitter of how that game's actually going. Um, I'm falling behind in tech quite a bit. But since it's India and I'm rich, uh, I can embrace. As soon as a li as soon as 10% of my country gets the institution, I can hit embrace, spend a crap ton of money, and get it embraced like that all across the board. It's I don't I don't know exactly how I feel about it yet because it's still holding me back severely. But it's not. I mean, it is letting me catch up a little bit, but it's not like... Europe's still way ahead of me in tech. If I ever start going into Europe, which I'm actually trying in that game, the sun never sets up the Indian Empire. Which is going to be a pain in the ass, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull it off, actually. Um, the tech just doesn't look like it's there. It looks like it's better than what it would have been before. Like, it's just tech groups. So, so far, I'm in favor of it. Uh, we'll just have to see if that holds true, you know, after I've played a few more games in 1.18. I have not bought the Rights of Man expansion, though, so I'm just playing with the free features, which is mainly the institutions. So this is finishing up now. Sorry, trying to get the wife back on the stream. She's having problems. I know Angel Kibi would really like to see this, but it doesn't sound like the internet where she is cooperating. Uh, well, that sucks. No guy's gonna get our guy there, but I'm gonna get him. Um, 
Let's just go for the siege, because they can't really do much else. And they have to bring their whole army, and I'm about to hit a huge chunk of it. I'm gonna hit that huge chunk of it. And you just... Mansur has been sieging from the very beginning. This one just needs to go down already. Take that. Finally! I've got the freaking Morgul! Go up and support the second army. Yay, win. Um, oh, that's a Crimean territory they actually have free, so that's gonna be my win. I don't know why I thought that was Russian. I, why I, uh, it was in my head, I thought that was Russian territory. Totally blanked on that. So we're actually coming up on the two hour mark. Usually that's where I cut it off, but I'm actually gonna finish up this war because it's going quickly. Um, so we've run over a little bit, we've run over a little bit, but hey, we have fun taking down some war nations. Very fitting of the title of this stream. Hey, we're gonna catch that too. Ah, those little boogers. Come back. They're gonna, we're gonna have to hurt them. Take them out of the kneecap so they stop doing this crap. Yay, caught them. Oh, they're actually going to try and siege it back. You don't have time for that, you silly goose. Work all the units together, get better use out of them. They work more efficiently. Uh, that's unknown land still with natives that have clubs. They won't be much of a threat once I get the colonist. And kick their butt. I wish I could keep scaring them back, but I guess I should keep this army here. Kind of keep them back. Again. Keep them down anyway. Let's go ahead and dispute a session. No idea where you're at, dude. I don't know if you're an African country I've never heard of, or an Asian country I've never heard of, or heck, you may be a Native American country. Or you might be one inside of the Holy Roman Empire. I, in all honesty, do not know the Holy Roman Empire. Okay, multiple sieges going on. Just kind of wait now. Uh, actually, how about you just stay around here? Because those all group together. That's gonna hurt. They're gonna come up there. It's actually where I'm heading. So we're gonna butt heads here. That 6,000 is gonna hit there, and you're gonna hit there and split up their armies, hopefully. Nope. Wait, they moved. Well, that was gonna work. Hey, vassals, how about you siege down the rest of Nogai territory, huh? Rather than, I don't know, coming and dicking around over here. See, look, I conquered another place without your help. There's Nogai, actually, right there. Actually, that might be the territory in the district in real life that I was saying earlier that had a Russian, that the Russians, that there was a, dis ah, a territory in Russia that that district was named after the No Guy. Maybe it wasn't in the Caucasus, because Caucasus is over here. And how about a big old. Nope. To that. Because you're not going to see that down in time. Sorry to tell you. Uh, I'm probably... I might win that by the time reinforcements arrive. Or my reinforcements arrive. Yeah, they... Uh, yeah, they got wrecked. Okay, cool. Um... Anybody watching, if you are curious of when I stream, I do not have a specific schedule, unfortunately. I've been trying to nail one down, but it's been difficult with what life throws at you. So if you want to know when I stream, I typically tweet out, although I forgot to do it today. Um, when I'm streaming the day of, or ahead of time if I'm thinking about it, 
earlier in the week, and then definitely right before I go live, I'll send out a tweet. I say definitely, but I forgot this time, but I definitely will in the future, because I'm definitely almost positive I will. Um, bu -bu 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 Aha! Yes! It's a good thing I left this army down here. Didn't see that coming. It's getting stupid easy now. Let's bump it up a speed. Oh, it's gonna get even stupider easier. It's words, right? And if you also happen to come in late on the stream, either tonight or tomorrow, this will be up on my YouTube channel. Same name. Uh, just look for it over there if you want to see what happened before you showed up. If you did show up to the party late, we'll take the prestige there because the legitimacy there because my prestige is already crazy ass high. Is that their capital? Yes! It's a level 1 no less. Why are you sitting there sieging down something you can't take? And why did nobody take that? Nah. Do the old little cheap trickaroo. No, just go kill that. You don't want him sieging back anything. A couple of battles going on. Both easily won. And... Loop! Take over that. You take over that. And as soon as their capital falls, I think we're going to try for peace. And with the Nogai, and we've already beat the Crimean, so we'll set for peace them out. Um, I don't think I have enough actually to do the Aquilion. Just because their yeah, their military rank strength sucks. It's just it would take too long to build their capital, so it's not a big deal. Hey, look at that. 87% war score. So we're going to do that. We are going to try and take some territory. Wow. Does that piss off like two people at me? Both of the people I'm actually killing. <laughs> um. Yeah, we'll split it that way. And why Uzbek is just now starting stop at us. We're also going to take some cash. That'll make some interesting orders up there. Oh look, our font got bigger! Ah, yes! Bigger font means more powerful nation. And now we've got this other little appendage button sticking up into me. I don't like those appendages. That's why I tried smoothing it out here, but I just made it worse. Is that a fort? Bye-bye. Okay, so we'll have to wait for that battle then, otherwise there's going to be an awful battle penalty. And I don't know why I'm not getting black flags. Oh, yeah, because I guess war's not technically over. And we're just going to see how much of this we can take. Almost all of it. That'll keep a significant little inside of okay there that'll keep that surrounded by me anytime when I've got more points and when not everybody's gonna be so pissed off um, Crimea doesn't matter no guy doesn't matter Uzbek might matter a little bit uh, yeah mm, should I just do it that's like 50 how about not? And we'll just have you pay more reps. Why was that so much? Surprisingly for just a low development. Alright. Now that's what I call conquering 2016. Anybody get that reference? Eh? Eh? No? Okay, fine. I know, it was a terrible joke, and I'm a terrible person for saying it. Whatever. 
Uh, overextension super, super, super high. <laughs> we're just a little short, and we're actually going to have some states being able to be made, so we're going to run out of bad points. Um, now we're black flagged, and have that extra one. And we have a crap ton of extra military we can do. That's going to be made back soon. And... Wow! Wow. Why is that so bad? Wowzers. Let's see if it'll change next month and get fixed. No, it won't. Why is that so high? Rooting out corruption? It's like skyrocketed high. Why? Overextension. Okay, so after the overextension's gone, this is gonna be a lot less problematic, but until said time, that's gonna be a problem. Uh, Protestant zealots, you're gonna be reformed. No, you're not gonna be reformed. Why do I get the religious zeal, man? How did Sweden take that? That's odd. Um, so that'll stop the Protestant zealots. Uh, we call it the Ottomans are still not really happy with me. Um, why are you so pissed? The aggressive expansion, massive, is a problem. Although they are winning this war. Yeah. Wow, they're pissed off I keep expanding so far south. So the Nogai territories in the north will be more apt. Yeah, thanks, Peace One. Uh twenty one. It just apparently I'm a little slow and not used to corruption still, so I didn't think about it. Most of my time spent in this game was when I first bought it. Um probably like two-thirds of my time because I just played it like crap ton when I first got it, took some breaks, was in 115 when they didn't have, right before they had a corruption at 16. And I think I got it right as 15 after it came out. So, but I've been severely, severely addicted and entertained ever since. Who is their claim? I don't want that. Uh, we have prestige. Seed. Imaretu. Oh, I don't care if I lose my claim, that's my vassal. I'm just gonna go here for Thank you for telling me it was over extension, though. I appreciate it. That was causing corruption, the massive, massive corruption. Um, don't have anything for ideas, can't. We can't. Okay, okay, try. Just do it quickly. Um, 1.4 years into- I just took off a crap to the lands. I have no idea where these territories are. Um. Let's head down there, I guess. Speeds and Abo. You can raise that. Protestants don't care about. Tau is all pissed off again. Golden Horde. Uh, well, I guess it was Finish Cosk Fours. Yeah, we'll lose some money, but not too bad. Crimea is expected. Strav Sla Bear. Um Kristen. Actually that's funny because I took Bash Bashkirian territories of these two permanent laws off, but they're actually pissed at me the there. And at 1.9, yeah, that's gonna be dumb. <laughs> yeah, plus your army reinforcing because of uh, low man, uh, to regain out of your manpower pool. Yeah, you're right. It does, uh, kinda hit you pretty hard for a few months, but then it'll get better. You're right, I see the sun on the horizon, everything will be better someday. Shortly, actually. 
Ah, except there's more rebellions coming soon. And the over... Oh, look. My overextension's actually going to go away soon. So soon. 80%. Okay, what happened? Bukura? The hell happened to Uzbek? Okay, well, I guess that leads us nicely into our last nugget for the night. Um, because it was about Uzbek, but Uzbek's Bakura now. Or Bukura. So, Uzbek, in our last historical nugget of the evening, is also a Khanate, a Khanate that was left over from the fall of the Mongol Empire. But it was actually different than uh, Crimean Nogai. Crimean Nogai were leftovers of the Golden Horde Khanate, while Uzbek was left over from the Chagatai, Chagatai Khanate. Uh, Uzbek, if anybody knows their current maps, uh, yay, start working on that. Uh, the, uh, hey, look, they're all course now. Uh, Uzbek is actually still a current nation. They were released in 1991 after the fall of the Soviet Union and is now called Uzbekistan. So, one of the breakaway countries from the Soviet Union, if history has taught you anything, that is a perfect example of the those who don't learn history or fail to repeat themselves because the Uzbek broke away from the Mongol Empire Mongol Empire and more specifically the Chagati Khanate. I'm always having issues with that because I want to say Khanate and it's really Khanate. Um, Uzbek broke away from the Chagati Chagatai Khanate. And then they broke away from the Soviet Union and became Uzbekistan. It literally just repeated itself. At the fall of one great empire, they came back and became a separate independent entity. Until once again being you know, conquered. Oh, 20,000, that's a little much. Um, get in there! Good job, guys, but you lost a crap ton of army. That's gonna put me in debt even more. Um, I might actually have to lower army maintenance here to gain back up the war chest because it's been severely depleted over the past little while. Rooting out corruption, though, has its toll has been taken and is now gone. And actually, we'll be making six after this, but I can make more if I just you know, took down army maintenance. Uh, oh, I forgot to set these two on their dream mission. I'm gonna do that so next time I stream, I don't forget. That looks like something I might overlook. Wow, 2.48. Uh, yeah, we can't do that with too many. We're gonna do it with this one and we'll see how much points that uses. Quite a bit, but not nearly as much as I thought. Uh, those. Guys are gonna Samara Kazan Samar Samara Isn't that Kazan Gosh dang it, it's up here. Where the hell's the fourth army? That ain't gonna go well. Okay, well it's time of great uh Revolution and upheaval and all that stuff and the great new muzzle rush up, which I need to take a screenshot of for Twitter and I forgot to do it earlier whenever we had more progression perhaps of happening, but this will be good. Um, actually, that scale was only really done good at that level, so I'll take another one for Twitter later. But I want to thank everybody for watching and coming out. It looks like the next night I'll probably should be streaming will be about Friday at this point. Um, assume about the same time for starting, 7 to 7.15, 7 7.20, somewhere in there. Um, and we'll be doing this again, and we will continue the story of the Mother Russia as we continue on our way towards the Million Man Power Achievement. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Have a good one. See you all next time. Needed to cover all the goodbyes I could there.